we've got this um another part of the story there's um Iggy Azalea unfortunately has been dragged into it so if you're not aware I think before no I think before Tory got put into prison I think it came out that Iggy and Tory Iggy Azalea and Tory was cooking up or that he was working on an album not too sure one or the other but they were close so obviously when it when it when it um azelia azelia whatever her fucking name is you know what i'm talking about iggy right um whenever it came up the opportunity for people that tori knows to write like character witness statements for him she stepped up and said yeah i'm gonna write one because i know him so she wrote she, she wrote one to the judge and i guess these things are meant to be you know confidential she probably didn't think it was ever gonna get leaked to the press so at first when the rumors came out that she wrote a statement for fucking um a character witness statement i guess you know to to the judge in order to kind of maybe help him get a lenient sentence she said she didn't do it and this is a original post i think where is it? i think it's this one here where you can see her kind of denying that she that she wrote anything crazy um this is her original tweet that she's now deleted actually unfortunately um because obviously she's been getting a lot of like pushback which i think is really dumb so she said before the actual proof of what she read what she wrote came out she said the following iggy she said for the record, one, I have not been in touch with Tory for months. I have no reason to be, but I wish him well. She kind of sounds like Donald Trump. I wish him well. Um, I don't support anyone. Um, the whole thing is full of oddities. My letter never mentioned anything in regard to what happened that night. I was told this was for a judge only, yet it's being discussed in public, question mark. I never intended to be a public comment. Um, I am not in support of throwing away anyone's life if can if we can give reasonable punishments that are rehabilitative. No, that are rehab re, re, rehabilitative. Yeah? Is that what I'm saying it right? Rehabilitative. Yeah, yeah. So I'm reading that wrong. Uh, re, rehabilitative. Instead, I support prison reform. Period. Number five. I was asked to write about my genuine experience and the type of punishment I think he deserves. I did. It's not really that interesting, but I understand why it is being sensationalized. See you next weekend to discuss piece of toppings, I suppose. So this is what she was saying. She kind of came up a bit, you know, a little bit full of herself. But unfortunately, it's now been exposed what she actually wrote to the judge. And it's a lot more than just, you know, a vague support. She really went in for him. So this is Iggy, right? She says as follows. Um, Iggy, my name is Iggy and I've been a successful musician for the last decade. I've sold over 65 million records throughout my career, had number one hits on the Billboard, Hot 100, Broken Records. My music has been nominated for six Grammys. Blah, 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 blah. I've also created Britney Spears, you know. Becoming successful is incredibly hard to do. Maintaining success is even harder. The music industry is not designed to empower artists, especially not women. You learn to expect misogyny at every turn, no matter how much you've personally achieved. Sadly, I've spent my entire career battling sexism and bad behavior behind the scenes. Looking at UTI. One unfortunate consequence of that is I'm a victim of abuse myself. Is she talking about Playboy Carti? I hope she's not talking about Playboy Carti. Hopefully she's not talking about Playboy Carti, please. I must make note of the thing that I've suffered through so that you understand um, definitively that I do not write this on behalf of an abuser. In fact, it's very reason I felt it imperative to share my viewpoint as a woman in music in regards to Daystar Peterson, which is Tory. Um, you are presiding over his case and it would mean a great deal to me if you please let me share with you why Tory Lanez is far from the average entitled rapper um or rap star sorry i believe in justice and i know you too you do too you dedicate your life work to it and i respect that deeply that's why i'm taking my time to do this because i know the person you are understands in order to truly conclude what a fair sentence is you need to do better understanding of who the person is your sentencing is at the core judge hereford i was elated when i saw your name in relation to the trial because you've been a reputation of being fair it's a fact of one of the reasons why I saddened Daystar had a subpar legal counsel and did not take the stand at his own trial. We have all been frozen in fear before. The unfortunate side effect of this choice is he's been painted in the most unrecognizable way and the jury and the public. Next slide. Um, she's been barring this up in it. I've witnessed him defuse so many sticky situations with kindness and humor. He is the last person to lose his cool. I've never encountered this jealous, rage-filled person he's accused of being. I've known him to be someone who's always bursting with happiness in the moments you want to cry. If you call D Daystar, he will find a way to make you laugh. Yo, Iggy loves this man, in it? Fucking hell. She is glazing him up. Since Daystar remains in jail, many of his employees are left without work. I took it upon myself to hire six of his staff members. Oh, Iggy, man. Didn't you say you didn't know him and you not, you haven't spoken to him in months? That's what she said here, no? She said, look, didn't she say that? She says, I don't support anyone. 
I've not been in touch with Tori for months, but you're hiring these ex staff members. Oh, Iggy, Iggy. Um, okay, cool. I hope that I consider. So I hope that you'll consider a sentence that allows. Sorry, that's what I said. No, my bad. Let me go back again. But um, what I say here. Since they was in jail, many of his employees are left without work. I took upon myself to hire six of his staff members full time. Wow. I did this not only because they are great hardworking people, but so that they remain in a position to transition back into running his business when he's completed his sentence. I'm doing all that I can to make sure he's in a position to come home and get back to work. That's incredible, man. She's really nice. She's really nice or or fucking Tori has has the fucking he has he has that dangalang. And people have been saying that for a while, innit? Even though he's short, people will say that, you know. You know. You know. So, yeah. It left an impression. Let's say that. I hope that you'll consider a sentence that allows um, for this to be a transformational and not life-destroying. Not only for Daystar, but for his family, son, and countless others who depend on him and are committed to helping him reach his full potential. If Daystar is able to remain in the United States after he has served his time, I would employ him without hesitation as a sexy producer of my next album. Wow. In fact, I already hired him to do the job prior to his conviction. I guarantee you that he has significant income and work awaiting him upon release if you do kindly consider a sentence that does not require deportation. I have remained in close contact with him. <laughs> Iggy, she said, look what she said here. I have not been in touch with him for months. <laughs> I have no reason to, but I do wish him well. And then in the letter, <laughs> I've been in close contact with him since his incarceration. She's been sending him fucking her OnlyFans links, sending him some race. You know what I mean, like, oh man, I like Iggy though, to be fair. This is what you're meant to do. If you write for somebody, write for them big up Iggy I remain in close contact with him during his incarceration I'm confident he has already gained positive insight in regards to this experience he leads a prayer circle nightly and he's already empowering others during his time in jail in fact we have spoken last week and he told me he's glad God put him in jail he said that this is an opportunity to humble himself and soften his heart ironic to hear one of the kindest people I know strive to become kinder I'm not shocked it's who he is watering and shine what's that she says watering watering and shining light on others until something beautiful grows yo she is really 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 laying it thick for him in it she's in love love in it watering and shining light on others until something grows i've not no one's ever spoken to me like about about me like that <laughs> i just get you motherfuckers in the chat harassing me calling me names and shit saying how black i am taking the piss out of my accent I hear you guys in the chat. None of you guys say this to me. Why don't you guys say this to me? Why don't you guys say I'm watering and shining light on you, eh? <laughs> Why don't I ever get that? Fucking hell. Thank you for taking time to hear what I have say in relation um, to Daystar's character. Kind regards, Iggy. Wow. What's up? Hold on. What's up? Oh, this is, oh, so it's not in order. So it's number two. Sorry, my bad. Um... What she say here? I've never seen this. Oh no, I've seen it already, right? I've saw that. I see it already? Yeah. Or oh, number three. No, it's number three. Yeah, there we go. Sorry. One more left. Um Desar Peterson is not the best, is not the pest you've heard about. He's a gardener. Yo, she's still going with these fucking gardening analogies. I love it. He helps others bloom. Get it? Watering, gardener, bloom. Yo, she's got bars. Any leniency you may afford to him would be something you could be proud of. You see, Daystar has been helping me from the moment I met him. Our paths crossed in 2018. Day Tory hit in 2018. Legend. While working in the same recording studio. Although he was writing music for another artist, he took the definite initiative to come to my room in his break time and play song ideas he'd written for me. Yeah, I'm sure he did. This resonated with me because he's highly unusual for someone who's already very successful to help others. Music is competitive in that way. We've remained friends since... Friends, eh? Friends. Okay. All right. Although he's an incredible songwriter, it's my belief that it's his true gift of... Role. I'm sorry. We've remained friends since. He's genuinely passionate about helping others. He'll go out of his way to help someone if he sees a glimmer of greatness inside. Although he's an incredible songwriter, it's my belief this is his true gift. Seeing what, seeing what could be and becoming the driving force to make it happen. Wow. He battled and overcame some incredible odds on his path to success. In many ways, he's still battling now. 
I think that's one of the reasons he always fights hard to elevate others. One of the favorite examples of this is the story of how he came to hire his personal assistant, Mario. Daystar was stopped at a red light with his window down when a guy in his early 20s yelled from the sidewalk, I'm chasing my dream too and I'll do anything to work with you. I'm working for Postmates. Please let me give you my resume. Shockingly, Daystar took his number, called the next day and interviewed him for the job. He wasn't in need of another employee. He still created an internship and later a full-time job for Mario. Okay, cool. That is pretty cool. If that story is true, that's pretty cool to be fair. I've seen him silently help people empower themselves in ways um, in his in this way time and time again. He creates space for others to be great. I deeply appreciate the person he is and have never witnessed him lose his temper or raise his voice at a woman. He's always been incredibly respectful to me, um, of me, sorry, and I refuse to believe that he would do anything of malice, especially to a woman. Yo, Iggy was riding for him hard. I like this. I'm not going to lie. I like this. I like this. I like this, you know? I like this. Um Iggy was riding for him hard and to be fair, I don't know why she's getting so much stick online. Like people are really outraged and pissed off that she wrote this letter. As you can see from this lady who writes for the Business Insider who's also not a fan of um, Dave Portnoy, this woman called um Cat 10 Barge. She's like, Iggy Zayla clearly had no idea this was made public. She came on Twitter and said she was neutral in the case. Hadn't even spoken to Tori recently. According to her, she hired staff. Wow. So everyone's really upset that Iggy fucking wrote this letter in support of Tori. But I don't understand why in America, you guys have an inability to accept when people have a difference of opinion. Like if you believe Megan got shot by Tory Lanez, that's fine. You're allowed to think that. But other people are allowed to think different, especially if they know the people involved. If, if Megan's friends think she was telling the truth, that's fine. If Tory's friends think he's telling the truth, that's fine also. Um, obviously, the, the most important factor in this is the fucking court and the jury. And they unfortunately um, said, you know, most likely Tory did it. So he's in prison. So it doesn't really matter what we think. But I don't really understand this inability for people to not accept other people may have differing opinions from them. It's really bizarre. But one of the interesting things about this I think is really interesting to check out is this. Um, I saw a post actually which I guess for me is an indication of how difficult it's going to be for Megan to restart her career. Because I think similar to the Lizzo thing, the Lizzo thing is going to be hard to prove, right? In the court of law, I think so personally, because it's a little bit he said, she said. But the issue about the Lizzo thing with her kind of abusing her fucking backup dancers is more so what it's going to do for her reputation because Lizzo has got an image of being a nice, you know, the nice girl, right? The, the girl's girl. Um, whatever it may be but now because everybody's you know seen the quote-unquote truth or kind of had a peek behind the curtain it's going to be very difficult to have that same persona it's hard to do that it's really really hard to do that so um let's just quickly calm down here and one thing i think is difficult is that everybody industry everybody in the industry story hasn't come out to congratulate um megan the stallion on this sentence either that's a really hard bit for her and if you scroll here on this page that i follow big up milagro the absolute legend one of the best streamers out there um she posted this so drake um and davido obviously if you guys know and you think about afro beast or afro pop you know who davido is but drake liked the post that i think that i spoke about here this one that tory lanes wrote right the statement basically denying that he did anything wrong and drake liked it and so davido so a lot of people in the industry believe that tory didn't do it so megan's gonna fight a real big uphill struggle to kind of get back to where she is because there's gonna be a lot of people in the industry who legitimately think she fucked tory lanes over that's the main issue she has so i'm really interested to see how she approaches it after like what does she do does she sit down for another interview with oprah or no not i think she did one with gail king does she sit down with oprah now and have like a tell-all interview really kind of owning up to shit that she just pretend like it didn't happen and just keep dropping music and hope people forget about it. I don't think so. I think similar to the Rihanna and Chris Brown thing, I think this was going to follow both of them. It's going to follow Tori and Megan until the day they die. It's going to be something that's going to hang over their head forever. But I think for Megan, she needs to address it, I think. If she wants to drop music, what I would do, you have to kind of do some sort of interview just to kind of put it all out there, talk about how you feel, get the sympathy points and then put out your music. I think if she just tries to ignore it, and put out the music it's going to look like she's heartless and it's going to look you know it's just going to look weird you know people are not going to get it um one guy's in prison for 10 years and you're just out here twerking it's not going to it's not going to work that way it's not going to work or it's not going to go to it's not going to be well received in the core public opinion i think so um but hey what do i know 
let's move on from that one because our stuff is boring what are you guys saying in the chat um uche is saying he's not going to do the full 10 years unless he has any priors no yeah i think academics was talking on his stream and he said most likely he would do seven and a half still a long time though you'll probably have to do seven and a half because he's already doing time served the year and i think in la they said you have to serve like 80 percent of your sentence or something so you'll probably end up doing seven and a half years um i think um this is the only thing megan's going to be known for exactly seven dirty you know, megan cancelled free tory is like he's i just i don't know it's just it's just a funny case to see it's just a really funny case because yeah it's just funny it's just funny isn't it? what can you do i'm not gonna go over it too much let's 